Philippians 4 verse 4 to 7 Rejoice in the Lord always. Again I will say, rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to all men. The Lord is at hand. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplications with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and mind through Christ Jesus. Sometimes difficult times in our lives can seem overwhelming. You have been praying for help, for a breakthrough, but it has been slow in coming. You cannot see a way out of your difficult times. At times your difficult times seems to be greater than the reality you are living in. Many of us have lost hope, feeling alone in the battle, and the weight of stress seems too hard for a person to carry alone. Whatever the need, if it is physical, spiritual, financial, emotional, God promises for provision we might not see as us cover. He is fully able to provide what we need. We can trust Him with our future, with our family, with our lives. Philippians 4 verse 19 tells us, And my God shall supply all my need according to His riches and glory by Christ Jesus. When God created the universe and designed us, He did it with a purpose and intent. He promised to provide out of His richness, His fullness, wealth, and treasure for every single need we have. He gives us favor. He lines up our paths to be at the right place at the right time. God accomplishes so many things for us every day that we may not even be aware of. And He always makes a way, whether we realize it or not. Please understand this provision God will provide is not the same as name it and claim it prosperity gospel. This is not about having many fancy cars and homes and fancy clothes. Matthew 6 verse 25 to 34 tells us exactly what Jesus meant when He said He will provide. The Bible tells us, Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food, and the body more than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow a rib or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Can any of you by worrying add a single hour to your life? And what do you worry about clothes? See how the flowers of the field grows. They do not labor or spin. Yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendors was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, will he not much more clothe you? You of little faith. So do not worry saying, what should we eat? Or what should we drink? Or what should we wear? For the pagans run after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Today we are going to spend time focusing on a prayer for God's provision in difficult times. God offers us every day his goodness and love through his words. Confess the scriptures over your loved ones and yourself. Remember that as you confess them, no weapon formed against you will prosper. Isaiah 54 verse 17. Let's begin. Philippians 4 verse 19. And my God will supply every need of yours according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. 2 Corinthians 9 verse 8. And God is able to make all grace abound to you, so that having all sufficiency in all things at all times, you may abound in every good work. Matthew 7 verse 11. If you then who are evil know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father who is in heaven give good things to those who ask Him? Psalm 37 verse 25. I have been young and now am old, yet I have not seen the righteous forsaking or his children begging for bread. 1 John 1 verse 9. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. 1 Timothy 5 verse 8. But if anyone does not provide for his relative, especially for members of his household, he has denied the faith and is worse than an unbeliever. 2 Peter 1 verse 3. His divine power has granted to us all things that pertain to life and godliness, to the knowledge of him who call us his own glory and excellence. Deuteronomy 11 verse 14. He will give the rain for your land in this season, the early rain and the latter rain that you may gather in your grain, in your wine, in your oil. Deuteronomy 28 verse 12. The Lord will open to you his good treasure, the heavens, 
to give the rain to your land in its season and to bless all the work of your hands. And you shall lend to many nations, but you shall not borrow. Hebrews 13 verse 5 Keep your life free from love of money and be content with what you have. For he has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. John 10 10 The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. John 21 verse 6 He said to them, Cast the net on the right side of the boat and you'll find some. So they cast it, and now they were not able to haul it in because of the quantity of fish. Luke 12 verse 7 Why even the hairs of your head are numbered? Fear not, you are more value than many sparrows. Luke 6 verse 38 Give and will be giving to you, good measure pressed down, shaking together, running over, will be put into your lap. For with the measure you use, it will be measured back to you. Matthew 11 verse 28 Come to me all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Matthew 21 verse 22 And whatever you ask in prayer you will receive if you have faith. Matthew 7 verse 7 Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to you. Philippians 1 verse 6 And I am sure of this that he who began a good work in you will bring it to completion at the day of Jesus Christ. Philippians 4 verse 6, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. Proverbs 10 verse 22, The blessing of the Lord makes rich, and he adds no sorrow with it. Proverbs 3 verse 5, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. Psalm 111 verse 5 He provides food for those who fear Him. He remembers His covenant forever. 3 John 1 verse 2 Beloved, I pray that all may go well with you and that you may be in good health as it goes well with your soul. Amen.